Uh, hey guys, it's Megan from Cardtropolis TCG, and today we're opening a few boxes of a uh, fake Grand Order, um, like Babylonia, Apocrypha one. I know there's a couple sets, but definitely like the the more recent Fate set to come out. Um, yeah, I guess big things that I'd want to see today are like maybe the SR Ishtar. I think there's like one uncommon that I need in my deck, so hopefully we get it. Um, yeah, we'll just get right to it. And then of course, if we get lucky and like get an SP or something, that'd be no complaints there. Open. Did you ever get your fourth Gilgamesh yet? Uh, it got shipped out today. Okay, so you don't want to open a Gilgamesh. Oh yeah, I don't know what I'd, man, that'd feel pretty bad. <laughs> SP Mosh Brainstorm? Yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> Uh, and then our promo, we got the SD Mosh. Is it Mosh? Or, it's probably not Mash. I, I call it Mosh. I don't know. Mash I've never seen it. doesn't sound very I've, cute. I've never seen it. So. Um, promo. Yeah. Give. Wise packs are kind of fickle to open, and I don't want to risk bending anything. So I got. Oh, right there. No, that's no. the other one I was thinking. Wrong card. <laughs> Whoops. So for this set, I have like a Gilgamesh deck, and it's very much like a pet deck. Oh, speak of the devil. So handsome. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not super good. I wanted it to be like a pure like Gilgamesh, like Husbando type thing, and it just was not doing great. <laughs> so I'm not doing that anymore. But still very like centered around him, and that's that seems to be fine. Oh. It's nice blue. Yeah, it's nice blue. <laughs> One day we'll watch this show. I know it's like a phone game. It is a phone game. My friends played a lot of it. And then they like turned it into an anime. So of course they did. That's interesting. <laughs> Pull out all the Gilgamesh cards. I mean, maybe I want to play a third of that event. <clears throat> Probably not, but it'd be nice in like my binder. It's too bad there's no way to like get that event back somehow. Oh yeah. So you have to like hold it for a while. Yes. Yeah, the cup. cup. Magic cup. It's actually really sweet. Is that a double rare? No. Was it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The double rares <laughs> and Ys are not perfect, so. It is definitely hard to see, so I kind of just. Oh, check this. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this is apparently also a rare. Oh, okay. <laughs> Single rare. Nice. Look at that. Can't tell the difference between rare and double rare, except for the Do little. Do you want to hold that up to? Oh. This one's a goddess who rules over Venus, Ishtar. I know the triple rare for that's like, you know, pretty So nice. it's an 11k healer, and then with Climax on attack, pay two, ditch two. Choose two cards in your opponent's waiting room, shuffle them back into their deck, and burn four. That's not bad. Burn like four all at once? Yeah, like uh, uh, Sword Arc Online Cena. Oh. Uh, no, I, I think that's okay. Uh, you shuffle like non Climaxes back in. Oh, okay. And if you have multiples of them, you can, like, do it. So, yeah. And it kind of heavy cost. Pay two, ditch two. Yeah. It'd be hard to have a hand. Like, if you're playing your Climax and your threes, like, say you have seven cards in hand, like, that's four of them, so you have, like, three left. Hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Enormous size and strength. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Yeah, pretty hyped for later this month though with Date Alive. Um, so I guess this is almost just kind of like tidying you over. Yeah, tidying me over until <laughs> until a few weeks. Man. Okay, so I guess not even for like meta breaking stuff. We just watched the show and I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> 
just ridiculous. Yeah, you're building a pure Kurumi and pure Yoshino deck. Yeah, Yoshino might have other things splashed in. Like, mm. man, origami. There's too many good origami level zeros. The most boring character <laughs> in the show. Get some of the just, just so good. It's pretty upsetting. Sorry, anyone watching, if origami is your best girl, but. It shouldn't be your you best, girl. Own best girl. Yeah. <laughs> Shots fired. There's a murderous psychopath in the show. Of course, origami's not best girl. Oh, this is, that's a good card. It's like eight bucks. Yeah. I should know. I bought one. Show, show that to the. All right, no butts, Ishtar. I wonder if this card was censored. Doesn't it look like it was? It looks like it might have been, but I don't know if that's I just the original art. Censored like, like any sort of little girl, like mm. I don't know. So yeah, this card's pretty good. It's a coin flip, um, and then you can pay one stock, put it into your waiting room, and then Akatsuki. So oh. As I just, um, as I just drop the card onto the ground, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, the SR for that's like I think anywhere from like twenty five to like maybe thirty five even. Mm. It was pretty good. Cute. <laughs> mm. Starry eyed. Yeah. Is that the girl of the the uncommon that you need? No, Is it that girl? the uncommon was like a mosh card. Oh, okay. Just like a blue level two. Mm. Uh, but she's the like that level zero that like kills things. Ooh, Ooh shiny. fancy! Final battle with mother. That's a good one, I think. I think it's, it looks really good. Oh, why is this here? I didn't do it. Oh. Okay. I should go grab you some stuff. Oh, yeah, that's what we forgot. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten pretty heavy into wise like the past like couple months. Uh, I used to be really like in the Vanguard, and like I still am, but they're kind of in like the middle of that whole overdress thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Another reboot after two years. I wouldn't <laughs> mind putting Vanguard maybe on the back burner for a little bit. Focus on a game that doesn't rotate <laughs> every couple years. Just watch me jinx it and now. Why they? It doesn't. Why shores wouldn't be able to sustain a rotation? Oh, double? double rare. All right. So we got trust in her master, Mosh Ky Kyrie Light. Uh, one zero forty five. If you have two or more other characters, one thousand power. Uh, climax combo. Discard a card on attack. Uh, look at the top four cards of your deck. Choose two characters and add them to your hand okay yeah that's cool uh allows you to like go through your deck a little bit discard climaxes oh, yeah, all the gold all the gold interesting oh hey Gilgamesh. what's the clock kicking one yeah <laughs> yeah it was a double rare. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. Um, 11k uh, on play, search your deck for a character, and then on reverse, uh, ditch two characters, uh, clock, clock kick. Pretty good card. And its SR looks so nice. Mm -hmm. watch the show but man the the ishtar who looks like ray from fate stay night 
they must have done that on purpose. I mean, obviously. That was like a Are you talking about Rin? Rin. Okay. okay, I was like, wait, who's Rin? <laughs> so they have like this blonde girl, Irvesh Kigal, or however you say that, and she looks just like her, but blonde. Am I wrong? No, I definitely couldn't tell them apart at the beginning. <laughs> Other than, yeah, it was just blonde hair. One box and still not the uncommon you need. To find an uncommon. Well, apparently it's uncommon. Well. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice. Are you showing these? <clears throat> oh, interesting. That's so why I'm bringing the underworld beneath. Is that a standby target? Like a typical standby target, I think? That might be good too. Yeah, it must be. It has an encore, and if you have two or more other Collider or Babylonian characters, Greg, I think it's 2k. Nice. And, and an encore. And hand encore. Character hand encore. Cool. So we got like two good foils for like, I think, the meta version of this set. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's cool for people who play meta. <laughs> <laughs> I think the meta version's like standby salvage. Standby um, comeback, whatever you guys want to call it. Yeah. Standby's always good though. Alright, sweet. Move right along to box number two probably. Sorry for opening this box so brutally. White boxes aren't the easiest thing. Oh, and we got like an SD Kingu. Super cute. Blonde Rin. Oh. Promo is a 1145 assist for 500 times level, so level assist. Um, pay two restless cards, search your deck for a character. That's pretty cool. Gilgamesh card that's not super great. Oh, look, there's another Shurya. one. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know if we showed these off. Oh. These were the foils from the first box. I don't know if we showed these yet. So we got an SR and a triple rare. Nice texture on both. Oh, yeah. Even like against the black, it looks really nice. Yeah, the black and red kind of thing. Yeah. This card looks nice. It's a shame that it's just a. It looks random compared to the rest of the R in the set. That's fair. I don't. Care. Also, that also. Random. The some gems. Guy, some guy in a lion suit. <laughs> Wonder where that comes into play in the show. We can add it to our list though, but man, there's so much. We're so behind. We're so behind. Twister. Yeah, the Fate series is cool though. Like I've seen like Fate Grand Zero and then Fate Stay Night. Battle scenes were always really nice, so I'm sure like the show would be no different. I feel like I've seen most of them because they're like on Netflix. Mm. <laughs> so I think I watched most of them. Whatever ones that were on there, I watched. Yeah. Pretty 
blue perfect. <laughs> Still no uncommon. Still no uncommon. <laughs> uh, you should, on this pack, you should look how many uncommons are in the pack. Oh, okay. You're on the next pack? Or, or just any of them. Okay. Oh, well. Sweet event. There's 27 types of uncommons. Okay. So there's more uncommons than like rares. Yeah, so in the next pack we open, see how many uncommons are per pack, so we can see our odds. I'm assuming it's like, it must be one uncommon I per pack. I thought it was one per pack, yeah. So yeah, it should take two boxes to hit it then. Yeah, in theory. <laughs> if we're lucky. So yeah, so here's an uncommon, and then here's an uncommon. Oh, so two uncommons? And then rare. Ah. So in theory, <laughs> one per one Whatever. per. Oh, so geez. Oh, geez. that's fine though. It's fun to like open things. Oh yeah. Shield back up. A uh, double rare. Fuck. This is this. What is a different one? All right. This is also a pretty good card. Um, level one, the Mistress of the Underworld, Ereshkigal. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Ereshkigal? I don't know. Uh, on attack, if you have another character, it gets plus 15, so 6k plus the climax. It might be on a standby, so it might just be 6k on attack. Uh, and then on reverse, if you have the climax, mill two cards from your deck, choose up to level X or lower, where X is the total level of cards milled. Okay, so if you like mill a 1 and a 1, you can salvage one card that's level 2 or lower. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's too bad it's on reverse, but I do, like, that's that's a solid. On reverse salvage is pretty good. It'd be funny if we missed the uncommon. I know. We already pulled it. Ugh, feels bad. Oh, this one makes sense. <laughs> it's kind of cool to see Gilgamesh be like. A good guy, I think, at least from like what I gather from this show. Uh. Shiny. Oh, I got the <laughs> <That's the Yoga. laughs> Dang it! I mean, I'm not gonna complain. It's my favorite card. That's really funny. SP. That is so funny. That's so funny. At least it's a good finisher. <laughs> I've never felt so conflicted about a pull before. Is it like, especially an SP. So yeah, so, so Megan bought four of these. Okay, so I bought her one for a deck. Then she's like, I need to finish out the set. So she buys three more. One of them gets lost in the mail. So then she has to, she gets refunded for that. And then she goes and buys a, a like her fourth one again. And then it just shipped out. And then we pulled yeah, this. It shipped out today. <laughs> oh my God. Because the guy like shipped it late, you know, stuff happens. That's where you, you keep the one you pull and sell it. I mean, yeah, of course. Of course. You know how much I love sentiment. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm going to open up the next pack and cry a little. <laughs> no. Maybe March will just be like a really lucky month for wise stuff. Then I'll just pull a bunch of Karumis and it'll be fine. That would be really cool to pull it on camera. That would be sweet. Oh, oh nice. Uh, hey, that's him again. Yeah, here's my... It's uh, the same... Low rarity. <laughs> yeah. So, we've got both the the low rarity and the high rarity of the same card in the same box. That's pretty cool. Very nice foiling on the SP. Nice little glitter pattern on the double rare. Pretty good SP too. I know like the oh, yeah. new SP is only like 60 60, bucks. So it's like, it feels yeah. bad. 
Because if you're not a cute girl or if you don't have a six pack, <laughs> no one wants you. Or a good effect. <laughs> or a good effect. Is this effect bad? The oh, other. Nice. The level zero. And here's our SR Goddess of Revenge Gorgon. Oh, she looks nice. really cool. Well, so I would say the foiling on this kind of sucks. Um, well, the entire middle part of it's like not foil at all, hey. except for her like arm and then these like random corners. It's not as bad as Bang Dream VR, so I don't want to hear it. Those aren't even foil. Oh, VRs are supposed to be Oh yeah, foil. VRs are supposed to be foil. Yeah, this is basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. Is it even good? On play, look at top three cards of your deck, add a card. Okay, so that's not terrible. On attack, pay a stock. If you have the climax, it gets the falling ability. Um... Oh, on 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 cancel. If they cancel this attack, they they burn three. So that's kind of cool. So either deal three or deal three. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I would. I. Th it is on a combo. I don't know if this is better than Musashi effects or not. Mm. Musashi effects are on usually on cancel burn one or on cancel mill the top card of your deck and burn plus one equal to the level. So if you mill like a two, you burn three. Huh. But you're guaranteed one even if you mill a climax. It seems fun though. I don't know. I like cancel burn. It's not good at killing somebody from three zero, but it's really good at killing somebody from like three four or something. Like when you're trying to just put in lots of small damage. Mm. I can't believe we pulled the SP. My dream SP. On camera, though, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty cool. Plus a fucking big two. We got a Kano. Uh, so, yeah, I need to, like, somehow I wish there was a way to track where all of our subscribers are coming from. Because, what was that? I lied. I think this is the card. Oh, that's the card. That is the card. That's a common. So. Oh, it's a common? <laughs> oh, so we have probably a couple. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, we got um, an SP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, I can, like, look and see which videos have more likes, but I wanted to know, like, where the subscribers are coming from. So if you guys like the Y Shores content, please, like, leave a comment saying you want more Y Shores content. Um, we'll be doing openings for not every set going forward, but, you know, here and there. Um, we'll definitely do one a case opening for Data Live. I don't know if we'll stream the whole case. Um, we'll probably do an opening for Kaguya and an opening for Alicization, uh, for Sword Art. I don't know any... Yeah, we went over that one. Um, but yeah, so if you, if you like the Y Shores content, please, like, let us know what type of content you like. If you like the openings, I did, like, a deck profile for my Kantai deck, um, I'll be doing more deck profiles, hopefully in the coming week or weeks. Oh yeah, I'll do deck profiles too once I iron out a couple more things. Yeah. My decks aren't like competitive though, so I don't even know if a profile is like appropriate. It's just like I like this character. Here's a deck based we on. We can them. start. We can start something called like fun deck of the week or something. Yeah, I don't know. Like the casuals corner. <laughs> the Casual casuals corner. corner. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That'd be really cool. But yeah, just let us know what you what you guys want. I know these get views. A lot of our videos have a lot of views, but... Oh, here's the double rare brainstorm. Oh, mosh. It's an $8 card. Oh, the ones that you just bought? I should know, because I just bought them. Because poor Gilgamesh brainstorm is not very good. <laughs> it's, a, it's a draw brainstorm. He looks good. Unfortunately, though. It's still a plus. It's just not a draw it's just the weakest kind of plus you can do but at least it's uh not a no plus <laughs> optimism last pack last pack our sp box <laughs> And the oh, the Gorgon Climax. Oh, it's on a wind. I, All right. I had to read it because I don't think I've ever seen the wind trailer yet. Uh, my Persona deck plays wind, and AOT plays oh, wind. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, usually when I trigger them, I'm like, no bounce. <laughs> I like, I've been opening these like a barbarian, but you're just opening them at the top. Oh, you've been ripping them. Yeah, our poor viewers are just getting traumatized because I'm just, just going full King Kong on this thing. And you can just open it like a normal person and it's fine. That's pretty funny. Uh, hey, the, the Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh promo back up. Running one of him because he's not terrible and he's very cute. Yeah, so it is a 3K backup, which is nice. Um, and when you use this card's backup, you uh, mill your opponent three. So, I don't know, maybe they'll, they're will they trying to attack through their last couple cards on their deck. That's all clean, and you just mill them out, they refresh, and then, like, they trigger a climax or two or something. I don't know. Alrighty. Last box. Jam up. Too bad it's a bad climax. The bags are typically bad. Bad bag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. I like that. I like that mosh. I like serious mosh. Hmm. I was a little salty when I had to get that brainstorm because I don't. I wonder like her. if that's the climax for the level one mm -hmm. belief in her choice. Yeah, so so this level one combo comes with a book. Um, books are fine. <laughs> Again, it's like a climax that just it's a plus that draws, just like a brainstorm. It's not nearly the best, mm -hmm. but but usually they put them on really good combos to balance it out. Oh. So that's kind of what they do. I like that balance is kind of like very kind of prevalent and wise. That's nice. At least for the next couple weeks. And for the most part, yeah, until... <laughs> oh, that's the third one. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad pull at all, yeah. I don't think. Nope. Yeah, Data Life's going to come out and then, you know, with that whole like event level three, level one, choice restrict not being a thing upon release, that'll be interesting. I'm sure they'll. I'm sure they'll restrict it just like they did with the Japanese. Formula. I think. I think the the biggest question people are going to have is that it's. Um, I I firmly believe. Oh, yeah. I was trying to interrupt. Oh no, you're good. Um, I data life will be hit in English, but the biggest question is going to be: Are they going to add other sets to the ban list? That would be huge if they just like hit Konosuba, Attack on Titan, Sword you think Art. They would. Um, uh, okay, I've played English for, I've pretty much played only English, and I don't think there needs to be a ban list. A lot of people will be very upset with my my choice there, because they don't like playing against only Sword Art and Attack on Titan and Konosuba. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think Attack on Titan's kind of on its way out, so I don't think they need to hit anything. The Armin's really good. That gives hexproof, so that's kind of a card people complain about a lot. Um, and of course, like the Aaron's pretty good, but Aaron's kind of like anti-meta now. It's not. It's not like a lot of climax combos at level one now are like on attack, or they're just like standby decks and don't have a level one combo or or one that cares about anything. So, I don't think they need to hit anything else. Yeah, it's funny on their product page they even put like, "Oh, we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna restrict anything on release." So don't worry, please buy this product for the Data Live product page. Yeah, well, it's sold out everywhere, so people oh, are yeah. clearly not afraid of this. Oh yeah, even with the restriction <laughs> though, it's still oh yeah, it's still like really good. Did it win that tournament that was a couple weeks ago, or did it just top? Advanced range. It was in the team that won. Oh, okay. Because it was like, wasn't it that, a Kaguya, and then I don't remember the other. Mm. Deck. Yeah, so the deck's still strong. I think for the most part, all they did was take out the event and the, the Toka level one combo. And oh, yeah, just, no, you still run. You just play the Karumi finisher. Yeah, you still run the Karumi level three. She's just good.
I think it's funny that they play a vanilla standby climax. Oh, yeah. One standby is so good. <laughs> yeah. Oof. We've had so many of those uh, cards you There's needed. Oh, nice. skill to mesh. Oh, I know. I feel silly. Uh, yeah, because this box has had, like, multiples. Uncommon. Yeah. It should be a fun, like, tech. I have, like, one one slot to fill kind of in my Gilgamesh deck, and running the blue brainstorm, I'm like, eh. Color fix. Just, yeah, run this one. We'll see how it goes. It's interesting. Uh, I feel like it's a lot easier to build. This this set, for some reason, I'm having a hard time building a deck. Or everything else, it kind of just, it is kind of in its completed state, I would say. Hmm. Not saying I have a ton of decks. It's really only three dollars. Your problem has only just begun. <laughs> Not like you, I don't Already. need to like max rarity anything. Which is good, because I don't want secret rare data live playset, because I don't have enough kidneys <laughs> to sell <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to make that happen. Gosh, I'm so curious if those are going to be a thousand on release. That'd be sad. I really hope we don't pull one expensive <laughs> but I wouldn't be able to say no to it the art looks nice I like the composition hmm. then a blonde ran standby right. still pretty salty about the Kaguya SPs like the rest of the community. Anyone who says they're not upset by that, they're lying. <laughs> Leave a F in the comments for all the all the SPs that are now gonna be hot stamps. I just feels so bad. But that's why you have to enjoy the signs while you have them. There's a couple there. I don't know if we already Hmm. So I don't think we got. I don't think we got this one yet. Okay. All right, so I believe this is a different double rare. So, um, acquiring freedom, Eresh Kigal, uh, two thousand power on place mill two gets X power for the number of characters you milled. So, four K on your turn possibly, and then you can pay one stock, put the top card of your deck into your clock on play. You may pay the cost. Oh, it's a salvage Ricky effect. Okay, so this would be a four of in most decks. I I'd say. Um, also, it enables itself by, like, being on play mill, too, so, yeah, so, if you go first and, well, you usually mulligan in decks that have stuff like this, but, yeah, no, this, I would say this is a good card. Rearranged a little. Oh, no, that's all good. So that our conflicting SP can be <laughs> nice. Guess when the... How one comes out, I'll just accept it. Mm -hmm. We didn't get any foils this box yet, right? Mm -mm. Okay. Down to a couple packs. Down to a couple packs. About five, six. <clears throat> yeah, you know, we could probably just open just a few boxes each of these. I don't know. I don't know how long this video is going to run. But... It's at like 33 minutes right now. Okay, yeah. And we're not even like reading effects or doing anything like that. Oh, mush. Brainstorm. Brainstorm. Nice. Mush. Yeah, it should be exciting. I wish, I wish I found out about Data Live when like there were more pre-orders available, but still, the case is pretty good. Not complaining. Oh, here's our foil. Zero, zero. Yeah. Is it that good one that we just pulled the double rare of? Uh, acquiring Freedom? I don't remember the name. Yes. Okay, that that's freedom. probably worth money then. Okay, show off a foil. Nice, you got a foil version of that salvage Ricky. You just said it was really good. Yeah, <laughs> like I think it's bad. really good. Yeah. The flavor text is an exclamation point and a question mark. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so original. Uh, Sudden surprise. <laughs> I'll say the foils that we got from these few boxes are pretty good. Oh, yeah. 
four out of five good ones. Last pack. Last pack. Ooh. Wonder what we got. <laughs> Grit level zero, Kingu, Ishtar, Mosh, backup, uh, this lady. <laughs> oh, yeah, is it rare? Nana, Wandrin, Climax. Neat. So, just a quick recap, I guess. We have foils for SP, some pretty good double rares. Excited with the boxes. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. I mean, man, I can't believe we got the one SP in this out that I care about. <laughs> but yeah, like I said before, if you guys um, like this kind of stuff, please just let us know in the comments. Um, it would be much appreciated. Um, do you have any closing comments? No, pretty fun pull. Uh, exciting stuff. Very, like, I don't know. I guess just thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a few weeks when Data Live. Up. Well, I'll see you in a couple of days if I get those deck profiles up eventually, but yeah. I am lazy. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and, and have a good day. Bye. Bye, guys.